12,000 counterfeit cards, 120,000 in US and Canadian currency, cameras and weapons were just some of the items seized in a raid by RCMP, SQ, Montreal police and others. It was a major international fraud ring and police executed up to 61 warrants this morning. The bank card cloning operation, according to police, is believed to have reached Vancouver and as far away as Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Tunisia and England. And basically the way it was set up is the initial stage, first phase is the theft of the PST or point of sales terminals in uh, different businesses in the Montreal area. Once they have their hands on it, they'll modify the components inside, the electronic components, and they'll add a Bluetooth and they'll add some chips. That, that way, they were able to access client information from the cards via Bluetooth. They'll put data on these cards, or clone cards, and now they have these in their possession. They'll put down the PIN number of the customer, and they'll also put down a, an initial which corresponds to the bank where it was obtained. And within five minutes, you have $30,000 loss. How they do it is when you have 25, 30 people doing this with the cards, they all hit the same time. In this example here, there's 70 car 79 cards that were used. They visited 23 banks. They did 203 transactions and they were able to obtain $30,000. The investigation, nicknamed Chapit, began in 2008 after banks reported an increase in fraud cases. If this is locked down, they're not going to steal it. So that, the first thing is these things here, uh, secure them. Charges against the suspect include fraud, manufacturing of forged cards and identity theft. Phil Carpenter, The Gazette.